it's just important that you go back and have a check up and get it sorted before it's too late and you can't you know, stop you from having babies or you know, internal infections forever. Well, I had a positive experience in the clinic, you know. It was good. Well, I still just consent to it because if you have it, you have it, but if you don't, you don't, as long as you're getting the test to say if you do or not. So if they're offering it to you, you might as well take it. it like, it takes less than five minutes to complete and it's over and you don't have to worry about it until if you get results or not. Yeah. I did have some tests, yes. Um, and to be honest, on the inside I was embarrassed and um, a little bit uncertain of their reactions and stuff, but you know, at the end of it, I think to myself, it went so quick, why didn't I, why didn't I do it more often? It was easy. I've had tests before with youth service and stuff after going out on one motor party and so yeah, basically get it done every few months here in Cairns. I always feel nervous, even though it's like my 10th, my 8th round, it's still nerve-wracking walking in. Like one day I'll just be sitting at home and the sexual health worker rocks up and like, oh, you have one of the contacts and you need to come down and next thing you know you're positive with something. And yeah, like I actually got treated there and then and, you know, didn't have to deal with it again and now I'm aware about sexual health, like how much it plays a big part, a big role in whatever you do sexually. What made me want to go for a checkup was, um, and what made me feel confident was that look, if they're not going to know what's wrong with me, then how do I know what's wrong with me? Like I could have something killing me inside that I wouldn't know about. They're shame because they think that it's going to get out, and it's not because it's all confidential. You just, it's all between you and your doctor. And I think because I went down the first time, now I'm not afraid or shy to go again. I know now for a fact that it's a good thing and yeah, for my personal health and hopefully everybody else feels the same. You know, you're not the only one that thought, you know, that's got this, if it's a you know, sexual health or an STI or whatnot um, issue, then everyone's got it or had it or you know, experienced it. The thing about getting checked up is people need to, to get rid of the, the whole shame thing and make it common, like walking in and getting something from the shop, you know? Like, going in and buying a drink. It's normal. And I think we need to normalise that, getting checkups. Shame is just in my pocket. It's never coming out. <laughs> to feel comfortable for yourself, you need to look at that fear of shame and just, you need to imagine things to make it more like, to take that away from you, to check it out. If you can do that yourself, and then you're good at that. You don't have to be necessarily shame, because everyone goes in there. Everyone, you know, either might have an STI or something else wrong with them, but they're just there to help. I just think, yeah, you just got to try and get past that barrier and build that confidence up to actually just do it. Like, I learned to not care about what others think, you know, and before, and that's where I got my confidence like that time. So you do have to go in and talk about it and bite the bullet even as shame as it is, but you know, it's confidential, you know, it's one on one. Um, no one else is gonna know. Um, it's just you and the doctor, yeah. I know it's hard and it's easier said than done, but um, you know you're going to the doctor for the right reason or the health clinic, you know, and you don't always have to be open and tell your family if you don't feel comfortable, you can so you're there for a checkup. You don't have to say what for. But um, yeah, I think be confident. Yeah. Well, when I feel shame, I'll just, you know, I'll just say, well, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, everyone's the same, and um, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you're just 
you're looking after yourself, you're the priority of yourself and be proud of it and never be ashamed of, you know, whatever um, people say because, yeah, it means nothing to me and I'll just keep moving forward and, yeah. It's easier to talk to your friends for me, but it's also good to talk to that adult because I feel like they would have more experience around sexual health and that kind of stuff. Definitely find your support network. The support network's probably the, the best thing you could have. It'll keep you sane, someone you can go to, whether that's your mum, your parents, siblings, cousins, you know, having a great support network, that's the, that's, that's the make or break that decides whether you're saving lives or not, you know. I think they should just either talk to someone that they're real comfortable with, like their father, their cousins, their mates, um, you know, someone who really understands them. To know your options and also to know where to go to get treated and to know about sexual health. Yeah, because I, I came into this very um, young and dumb and not knowing any of these things. And now you can, you've got Google in the palm of your hands. And you know, there's no shame in wanting to be healthy and wanting to know things, having knowledge about you know, STIs or whatever's going wrong or, you know, if you want to know things about your body. There's like no shame in that, especially if you trust that person, you know. You have the power. You have the power to, um, you know, say if you want a condom or not because, you know, you're worried about STIs and stuff like that. It all comes down to you, really. Yeah, just stay safe. Always, always wear protection, I guess. And if you're unsure about something, go get checked up. Don't be shy. It's for your own health. It's important about our bodies and um, looking, looking after our bodies and taking care of our bodies. Um, for, you know, for may not seem for now, but for in future, you know, features to come on and um, yeah, just we don't we want to live as healthy as possible. Yeah, that's why I want um, the next generation coming up now to be real focused about these kind of things and really um, be serious about it and um, not you know try and take it as a joke. But sometimes they might have take it a joke, but. Just yeah, take it serious and um, never be ashamed of it. Eh? Like whatever, whatever people say, just yeah, just do you and keep going and look after yourself. Be healthy um, and yeah, I think that's number one. I guess. Go to the doctor. You'd feel more better about yourself and you know give yourself a pat on the back for actually going through with all of that. You know, being a healthy version of you is better than having walking around with something that. It's irritating you, but you're too embarrassed to go actually get checked up about.